The relationship between Qualcomm and JPL started in 2014. We had debuted the Qualcomm flight platform at a show which caught the eye of NASA's JPL folks. And in that moment, when they found out Qualcomm had adapted their smartphone chips for drone use with the exact functionalities they were looking for to fly a helicopter on Mars, a light bulb clicked. That team went ahead and reached out to the Qualcomm R&D team to understand the realm of possibility and ended up buying a Qualcomm flight to test. The rest is history. For me, one of the best moments that showcased that collaboration is the very first meeting we had with the folks up at JPL in Pasadena. That included Jacob Van Ziel, the head of planetary exploration, and Mimi Ong, the program manager, as well as our team of experts. The magic on that day was seeing the experts collaborate, talk about the problems and the solutions, and our ability to address the questions that they had in real time as well as provide them the perspectives that JPL needed. Honestly, I don't think that JPL thought that our company, Qualcomm, would pay it much attention, but they were surprised to find out that we were willing to engage, and that really set a new era for the partnership we now enjoy together with JPL. JPL chose the Qualcomm flight platform for a few key reasons. First, our flight by sight uses a suite of sensors for altitude and accelerometer to guide flight. Also, our extremely low power profile could perform the highly complex analysis to provide autonomous flight. All while surviving the freezing night, solar charging, receiving and sending instructions back and forth from Earth, and on top of that, getting enough power in the batteries to survive another Martian night. That's a lot of power required of a tiny ship. JPL was able to use our off-the-shelf platform on Ingenuity and Perseverance. The standard commercial version of the Qualcomm flight platform includes four cameras and a suite of sensors for non-GPS-based flying based in visual inertial odometry. These functions fit what JPL had envisioned for its sophisticated flight algorithms that needed all this data input and fast computational engine for very low power. Since the introduction of Qualcomm Flight in 2015, we are now on the fourth generation of the robotics platform. The latest solution is the Qualcomm Robotics RB5 5G platform, which we launched in June 2020. It's currently being used in a lot of commercial robots, drones, and intelligent machines. There are a few key differences between Ingenuity and Earthbound drones. The drone is about 4 pounds and 19 inches, which is fairly equivalent, just slightly larger, to a commercial terrestrial drone you'd see flying over and taking pictures at the beach. It's crazy to me that something that small can be so mighty that it can fly and collect data in the harsh Mars conditions while keeping us in the space race. That tiny little helicopter is a combination of incredible commercial technology and hardware mixed with perfected algorithms and countless hours of testing from JPL. Qualcomm was able to use our expertise as a sounding board and fresh perspective. JPL has immense expertise in spaceflight and power optimization through their own algorithms. While JPL knew their mission space, we knew the tech and we're even told that the JPL team learned more in one day from our Qualcomm engineers than they would have been able to figure out in a full year working with a commercial off-the-shelf board. One unexpected thing we learned was the importance of peanuts for the commencement of every mission flight. It started decades ago on the Ranger 7 mission. The first six attempts were unsuccessful. Before the seventh attempt, peanuts were passed out to relieve anxiety of the team. The seventh attempt was a success, and the peanuts became a good luck charm. Since then, there have been very few missions where they didn't have peanuts on hand, but when they weren't, they experienced flight issues. Now they always make sure to stock up on peanuts, and you can bet they had them on hand for the Mars 2020 mission. When we found out there was an issue on flight startup, we immediately reached out to see how we could help. The issue was temperature. With temperatures that the helicopter reached while trying to power itself into flight mode, a separate subsystem needed a workaround for a new flight startup sequence. We kept in touch with JPL every step of the way, and after quick assessment, we determined the Qualcomm flight platform would continue to work just fine with the new sequence. 
I'm really proud of the partnership and collaboration between Qualcomm and JPL. Our team worked in a way that gave JPL full confidence in commercial technology and the insights they needed to ensure mission success. By using an early engagement point with commercial industry, governments can dramatically shift the cycle of change and innovation. The cycle shrank from almost 20 to 5 years. That's incredible. This partnership proved how vitally important private-public partnership is to make the impossible possible. My favorite memory of the project was meeting JPL's project manager, Mimi Young. She is brilliant. Meeting her for the first time gives you a sense of exuberance and excitement in the work JPL is doing. They can't fail. Her personality can light up a room, and her enthusiasm from the work makes us all smile and shows us how we are making a difference. We saw firsthand the confidence JPL has in their ability and the genuine excitement to have our Qualcomm flight platform. I'm enthusiastic for QGov and JPL to continue our partnership far into the future. After Ingenuity's first flight, I received an incredible letter from Dave Gallagher, Associate Director for Strategic Integration at JPL. It detailed the partnership we fostered, the successful missions we produced together, and offered sincere gratitude for our continued support and partnership. Our continued work with JPL will help them leverage commercially available technology faster and more efficiently. And I believe that together we will continue to dare mighty things.